All right, uh, just give me a second and we will be ready to go with the stream. We are live, Zerk, by the way. Yeah, just give me one moment. Gotcha. And I'm getting the same glitch that Jonah gets. That's fun. Oh, maybe. There we go. See ah, if he got okay. it. Yep, received it. Okay. Welcome back to LSR Season 7. We are here in Group 2 for... Circuit of the Americas racing around the Great Texas Circuit. We've got 13 drivers so far here in Quali. It's a full wet Quali, which is based off of the real weather currently in, uh, currently around the track. Let's see if we can find anyone on their lap. Maybe aliens on a lap? Let's see here. Looks like Stratting's on a lap. Yeah, Clearly let's... About to go with the back straight. Let us see what Stratting is up to. Yeah, he's burning some ERS, so he's definitely on a lap now. Looks like uh, Red Sniper just came out of Sector 2 and has gone purple, so... I... I think he's the first one that's gonna But Rick has stolen purple lap. from him. Oh. Maybe. But Red Sniper now coming through the iconic 17, 18, and 19, I think. I don't know. Now about to go through the final corner. Let's see what last Entering the final corner. Set. Exiting. Let's see. Run to the line. It's going to be a 151.6. 151.7 for Kendricks. What about Rick? Oh, Pierre L Natty McNasty on pull. But here comes Rick with a 152, improving over a second than the rest of the grid. Really tight gap between Stratting and, and Natty McNasty here. With Cincinnati's, I believe, making his return to F1. It's been a while since I've seen a race on F1, but very good lap from him already. He's been running in another league that I know of, but it's his first time back here in LSR. I know that for sure. Actually, I lied about the gap. I just realized. Yeah, it's a Trenny full did. second. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and Viperize. 50.5. The G3 poll yesterday was a 151.1 set by myself. We've got three G2 drivers behind that. Maybe I it mean, was just a fluke on their first lap, but... I mean, same weather. certain G2, they're obviously going to be faster. But as Edgy 53.5, not a very good lap, but hopefully he can improve. So let's see if, uh, so far only Viperize and Rick have beaten the, uh, G3 pole time yesterday. But, Luke, uh, 54.3, actually, yeah, 54.3 from Luke in that McLaren. 
It looks like Alien's about to cross the line here in that Aston Martin. 203.4. Looks like to be a banker for it, Helian. Hopefully, he's going to improve on this upcoming lap. Yeah, I don't think that lap was the true one set by Alien. A 203.4. That's... That's slower than a GT3, I believe. That's a... Yeah. And it's... If we're using comparisons of AI, that's around the uh, zero percent AI for this track in this in these conditions. So I mean, obviously it was a banker, but hopefully he'll improve. Let's see what he can do over the sunset corner, through into the hairpin, entering the final, sh entering the back straight. Sorry, deploying like ERS. Looks like his teammate Bono, 52.4. So, not too poor of a lap. Bono. Ellie in, into the corner. He's going to exit the second sector. Not a purple. He's 11 seconds up on his lap, though. So, that's good. Edgy, 51.0 putting himself P3 in that Red Bull. That's not too bad. Let us get the comments open because I believe we have gotten some. Looks like Rick is up on his time in Sector 1 and 2. Currently on a lap. So definitely going to increase that provisional pull, but has invalidated somewhere, so... Yeah. Not too good. It seems that maybe Kendricks caused him to go off track a bit because Kendricks was slow and all over the track right in front of him. Kendricks maybe. still slow on the outside. He may be out of gas. Or is he here to prove me wrong? Because it seems like he's speeding back up. I assume he's going to be coming into the pits now. No. No, he's going to try for another lap. All right. I mean, he does have free air in front of him, but... Let's see. He's going very slow, though, so I don't think... No, it seems he's still invalidated. It seems he invalidated both laps by going wide, letting cars through. Most likely just trying to get that free air. Because he does have that clear in front of him and behind him as well. So, most Which likely, is a yeah. thing you need in these conditions. Because you don't want to get a lack of downforce in these very wet corners. A lack of downforce in wet corners is going to end bad. You're going to end in a wall. We've seen it before. So, But let's also, see. Anyone else on a lap? Uh, looks like Rick Sniper's on a lap and vacant seven. Jimbo up seems on to be lap. on a lap as well. Jimbo going eighth with a one fifty-two two, and vacant, BTB though. Mango up to one fifty point nine. That is Noel from our GT series. He's hit the top three so far. Elian Bayan going with a one fifty-one one. Put some P5. Only Bacon two drivers yet to set a lap. Bacon set a 51.3 in that Ferrari. Oh, and that was a big twitch from Thomas D. That may have screwed over his lap as he was coming out of the hairpin entering the back straight and the rear just stepped out on him. We've got a caution entering the pit lane. Seems to just be slow cars entering. But Thomas D on a lap. Let's see where he goes. He did make a mistake in the uh, second sector exiting the hairpin. Vibrice has that purple sector one now. Absolutely flying through that sector. Let's see if maybe he can keep up his momentum. Thomas D is going to be the first one to set a lap out of those two though. Caution on the back straight. That seems to be for... Luke to red waiting for the double Ferraris and the Aston Martin to pass. 
some team orders happening back there as well. They can Thomas D a little bit slip. is going to set a 152.5. Go P12. Now, let's see what Viper Eyes is able to do. He's not gone purple in the second, but there is still a chance for him to steal fastest lap from Rick. He just needs to improve three tenths on his lap. And he has that pole position for right now. Coincidentally, he's up on both his Sector 1 and Sector 2 times. Roughly two tenths. Going through the penultimate two, corner now. Here he goes, entering the final. Let's see where he stacks up. Run to the line. It's going to be a oh. 153 5. So definitely close, yet out. so far. He definitely lost out in that final sector for sure. He is only eight hundredths of a second back from Rick. What a lap. But. Absolutely flying. Is he going to set another? Because he's only got 56 ear. 56% ERS. I don't know if he's saving or not because it seems like he's trying to go around But no, no it does seem like he's saving now. Yeah, 1.4 down in sector one, so So maybe he's saving to try and either help out vacant on his lap with the same strategy that vacant used for uh, him and Maybe he's saving up ERS for his next lap, but Vacant's invalidated. Yeah, so maybe those two are planning to do some teamwork next lap around. But you have to keep in mind, there's 4 minutes and 19 seconds left in this session, so yeah, not so too much time. Only driver yet to still set a lap time, Ozan, has been sat in the pits all qualifying long. Has yet to set a time, and... I'm not sure if he will set a time, to be honest. But drivers who are in the pits right now should start be getting should start to be getting out very soon. We've got, I believe, that's Alien coming out, and Viperize and Vacant are battling on Quali. All right. But let's see, Alien Bayan. Thomas, or Red Sniper Eye, sorry, is going to be the first person on a lap right now. Let's see, unless Thomas D, two tenths down on his Sector 1 time, he's on a lap. Vacant, four seconds down on his lap as he sets it, but still going. A lot of Red Sniper Eye, five tenths down on his first Sector time. Definitely, definitely hoping to improve, but or just five, already it's five tenths just, up. Sorry, he's up. Yeah, it show it showed that he was down originally, and then it magically that plus became a minus. Mm, wait, yeah, he is up. Yeah, based off his sector time, so he is up. So let's see, what will Red Sniper Eye be able to do? He's so far only set a 151.6. That's his fastest lap so far. Two and a half minutes or so remaining. Eight tenths, Eight tenths. up on his lap. <coughs> so maybe going to gun for the second but row. But a slight maybe... twitch there. Maybe that could screw him over with that sec with that twitch. I mean, yeah, you do come up to the control as he's sliding through for a second. Slides through the double A pet, the double right hander. Penultimate corner now. He's going to have a run nearly invalidates. Final corner this now. Run to the line. Where will this McLaren go? It's going to be P3 150.7. Absolutely flying. Especially Following him is uh, Natty McNasty. Let's see where he goes. It's going to stay the same. He's not set a good lap. He might try for another. Anyone else on a lap so far? Uh, Maybe Jimbo, Thomas D. Up. Vacant Haddock is out. That's in the pit lane. Jimbo's up two tenths. And he's got no traffic in front of him. Bono with invalidated with, behind the Red Bull. 
Let's I see mean, where will this Red Bull be able to put his car. Uh, looking at his sector times, definitely an improvement, but all of her, he did gain majority of that time in sector one as he's sliding through. Yeah, there. he made a slight mistake, lost the rear end, but he probably made a mistake through the S's on his first run. Most likely, yeah. Missed a couple apexes. Through the final corner now, and it's going to be a... 151.4 on the run to the line. Good lap from him. Viper is his off. end plate's gone. Elian making a mistake there, going through the double apex uh, corner there. But it was a tenth up on his lap though. Yeah, but Viper is gonna try for lap. He's informed me that he is missing an end plate, and yes, he is. He's missing his left end plate. Three of the yeses now. The Ferrari goes wide and validation from the Ferrari. That's his session over. That's going to be a P2 unless people behind can improve. BTB Mango seems to be the f one of the first to cross the line. Agile's around. Natty McNasty crosses the line. No improvement from him. Thomas Stratting. D enters the pit. Stratting's three tenths up, so definitely a 49. Any improvement happening? Bono on a lap. Oza never set a lap. Luke to Red with a 13th place start for him, the G3 driver. Stratting three tenths up, according to Sector Two. So maybe our first. Kendrick's a tenth here. up, according to Sector Two. 49.7 for Rick Stratting. That is going to be enough for pull. No one's going to improve enough to get him. The only drivers still out there that can set laps are Bono, Kendricks, and Viperize. And Viperize has invalidated. Kendricks, two tenths up in Sector 2. Let's see where he's going to be able to go. Kendricks he, is based on his sector times. Definitely improving here. He's but looking at his third row start. Yeah, hopefully this is a good lap because he did invalidate his previous two laps. So hopefully... He'll Let's eat. see, final corner, still going, still going, to the line, it's going to be a 150.4, 8 tenth improvement in the final sector, it's going to be enough for P3, Bono's not going to set a lap, this is going to be your grid, we're going to have the silver arrow of Rick Stratting starting on pull with Viper Eyes, the angry Ferrari Irishman alongside Kendrick's the other silver arrow and the G3 champion last season starting alongside Red Sniper Eye a common runner-up in the G2 series Yeah, very common runner-up But amazing qualifying session from Stratting To be the only driver in the 49s and nearly half a second separating Stratting and Viper Eye is purely off the of quality pace. Very it's, impressive. Yeah, it's a really good lap, but the rookie of BTB Mango, aka Noel, takes P5. Agil follows along P6. Elian By Bayon, sorry. In P7, followed by PRL Natty McNasty on his return in P8. Vacant Haddock. Another one of the runner-ups in the G2 series, P9, and Jimbo, triple one in 10th. Thomas D follows along in 11th, Bono 12th, the G3 driver of Luke 2 Red 13th, and Oze not to set a lap 14th. Very interesting grid already. I'd say Vacant's probably the most out of place driver, especially after that preseason race. From what we saw yeah but what we're seeing right now is uh, Rick saying in the chat he's gonna lose his p1 off the start so let's see how the start goes let's see g3 was a decently calm start with the only collision being between the Alpine driver of Calvary and the um, AlphaTauri driver of Oreo sadly we couldn't get a stream up because we don't have any commentators ready, but if you're looking for a commentary job, Saturday's 4 p.m. EST. 
We've got slots open for you. Yeah, hopefully someone can help us out here with G3. But the five red lights are out, and we are away in the wet Coda race. It's going to be Rick, a decently good start blocking Viper Eyes all the way to the inside. Viper Eyes, what a move from the angry Irishman. Collision between Rick and Viper Eyes. Spin in the back. Vacant Haddock's around. No, he saved it. But he's got We're a five second for corner Thomas cutting. D. Thomas Big D crash. Bono. Thomas D, Bono, both round. Thomas D, possible damage. But top three have already started to run away here. But Mercedes 1-3 already. We're looking very Thomas good. Thomas D does Mercedes. have damage, missing his end plate. So possibly that might be his race over already. Unless we do get a safety car, but from what it's looking like, there's a good chance at one, especially with this tight grid already. Yeah, we've got the rookie defending against Elian Bayet, and Elian running a lot lower down for setup than uh, BTB Mango seems to be. So that's going to allow him and his yield to get past. Here comes Jimbo up the inside. And the Ferrari of Luke 2 Red trying around the outside at the exact same time. Very tight racing already on lap one. This is what we like to see here in LSR. Jimbo, BTB, BTB Mango's falling back. We've got a spin that seems to be from Thomas D around. His whole wing's gone and it's a VSC. In the first lap of the race, virtual safety car, front wing off of the Alfa Romeo of Thomas D. Leaders are about a second between and then two seconds back to the rest of the grid. But yeah, already vacant already has a five second time penalty. I wonder what that, that was might for be uh, from. corner cutting on the first lap because he got hit. He's going to come in, serve that, probably get some damage repair. Let's see. The Ferrari comes in. No front wing change, but it will be a serve of penalty. Thomas D in the pit lane as well. This is not a good race for Vacant Haddock. Was looking very strong. And we are green again. Vacant was looking really strong in last week's preseason race. But looking at all of this, Luke to Red, biggest gainer so far. Five places up from his 13th place. Really good job from Luke. According to Natty McNasty, uh, there was a game glitch for multiple people on the first lap that may have caused incidents. Definitely gonna get looked into post-race for sure. Uh, yeah, Luke to red up to P8 from P13. That McLaren driving through the field trying to chase down his teammate, trying to get McLaren good points here. But right behind Red Sniper Eye in the battle for the uh, in the battle for non-podium positions, we've got Elian and Agile. They're close, followed by Jimbo and the other Red Bull. Then Luke to Red uh, in P8, B2B Mango P9, and Natty McNasty. There Thomas is a, another VSC. Thomas, Thomas D, D. lost his front again. wing again. And Definitely Vacant's out! Struggling. That seems to be on track, I believe, as well. Yeah, his it is. Still moving. He retired and left the session. Although, I, what I'm wondering is if he lagged out and got forced retired, because that has happened before, and it is a glitch on this game. But Red Sniper Eye building up the gap... Yeah, At least already. three or four people don't have the ability to tr control their cars. Natty McNasty As said Rick that has retired. We are having a lobby restart. Lobby restart. As it seems that people are unable to control their cars. So I assume positions will be kept from lap one onwards. Yet Rick has announced lobby restart. I don't know if we'll be sticking with our quality positions or if we will be sticking with our um, 
current positions from before this VSC came out. But to the lobby I go as we are getting a lobby restart, folks. I mean, this does really give everyone a second chance and maybe for those that did end up missing the star and quality maybe to join. Depends if they want to join. We have confirmation that the grid will be reset to the quality results. So Luke 2 Red, after doing all that work, is going to drop right back down to P13. If I was him, I would be pretty mad, but you really can't blame anyone else but the game for these issues. Yeah, I mean... Pretty out of our control. <laughs> yeah, we can't do anything much about it. But while we are waiting for an invite to the next lobby, let us talk about how the season is going to go. We have a 10 race season on our hands. It, it, next round will be, <coughs> excuse me, next round will be Silverstone. Very exciting. Follow, with, followed with up the by the format. East. Yeah, Silverstone sprint format next weekend. Then we follow it up with Easter break. No race that week. And then we return April 6th and 7th for the Netherlands. Following that, we stay in the Benelux region of Europe. April 13th and 14th is going to be Belgium. Then we move over to the Iberian Peninsula and race around Portimao. Following that, Ferrari's hometown, Imola. Then we have the Alps of Austria to race at, followed by an, the, our second and only other sprint race of the season in Sao Paulo. France is going to be following up that race, and we have our finale in Abu Dhabi on May 25th and 26th. Two sprint races will take this season, and we have three grids our G1 grid, which will be racing later today at 5 p.m. EST, so in about an hour and a half, followed by next week, G3, uh, 4 p.m. EST, then back to our, and then, uh, sorry, uh, G2, uh, 3 p.m. EST, and then G1, is going to be 5 p.m. EST. It's going to stay this way until round three due to daylight savings times affecting time zones in Europe and uh, North America, which has caused us issues. So we are looking to see whether uh we get an invite or not soon yeah i've let rick know to get us an invite whenever as soon as possible all right so we are going to go back to quality results so reminder rick on pool viperize p2 our back row is going to be luke to red and ozan everyone's going to start where they finished in quality so everyone's going to start where they started the first time, and we will see how different this runs. I mean, definitely does give Rick another chance to hold off Viperize in that Ferrari, who did end up making that move into turn one. But hopefully he can fend him off in this second restart, you could say. Yeah, and another thing is, another thing to talk about this season, weather system. Instead of our usual dynamic weather, we have moved to a more realistic one. We follow the weather that has been given to us by Mother Nature in around the track, which hopefully should create more wet races this season and keep the grid and the races a bit spicier.
hopefully, yeah, maybe people are actually going to start paying attention to the weather with this newly returned weather system. I sent you an invite, Zerk. Uh, appreciate it. So we get ready to run this again. Lobby restart finished. Or lobby restart. Lobby restart due to uh, glitches in the previous lobby. Just waiting for everyone to get back in, select their seats. And we will be back underway, I believe, with 14 drivers as we started. G1 could be delayed by this, but we will wait and see. Hopefully we can maybe get some extra drivers that did end up missing quality into this. So maybe... Luke might have not lost all those positions for nothing. It may start higher, higher up, maybe. All right, we're just waiting. Uh, we've got Red Sniper Eye, uh, Viper Eyes. Red Sniper Eye and Viper Eyes are the last two we are waiting on. Uh, let me see if I can get them in here. I don't have either of them added on this account, so I can't. So we're just waiting on Viper Eyes then. Yep. And it here is. he is, the angry Irishman himself. Getting ready, we are getting ready to run this again. Hopefully no glitches this time. And hopefully we don't have three restarts. Yeah. We should have the lobby settings getting set up now. AI difficulty set at 70. Weather time of day already set perfectly. Uh, safety car set to reduced. Simulation settings set to reduce standard on our damage. But. Viper is left. Let me see. Get him back in here. Yeah, there he is. He's back. Okay. He may have lagged out. Yeah, because he wasn't loading the first time. There we go. Angry Irishman's ready to go. And so are we. We're just waiting on the word from Rick to get this running. If you want, if you're new here and want to join the server, there should be a link to it in our community. No, there is not. Okay, then I will grab a link to the server. And I will put it in the chat. Make sure to pin it as well, so. If he can, I got an email the other day that I can't pin messages anymore. Ah. Yeah, and I can't even pin it on this stream. Because it's not mine, technically, so. Okay, settings are all good. We're just waiting from the go-ahead from Rick, and we will be back underway. And they have gotten the ready up. So let's get ready to race for the second time. Red flag getting ready to end as we reform the grid.
I assume one of the drivers that had the issues with the AI would have been BTB Mango, as uh, if you remember from the first uh, start, he fell down from what was it P5 to P10 in only the first lap. Yeah. I also so noticed I, there was some ghosting, maybe, but most likely well, the AI. Go the ghosting was mostly due to them being slow. Ah. Because they spun out or crashed or like with Thomas D and uh, Bono, right? So. Oh, yeah. But we have about, I want to say a minute left till start, depending on how long it takes them to set up their setups and uh, get their strategies ready. It's wet to drive, if I'm correct, right? Yeah, it is enter to dry conditions. The dry turnover point should be around lap 7 to uh, 14 from what I've tested. It's going to be interesting whenever they go on to select, see who aces that crossover point dead on or how badly they miss it. Yeah, it will definitely be interesting, but we will see here waiting for players. We're just waiting for everything to get underway. One, two, three, four, five red lights. And for the second time today, we are underway. It's going to be Rick going for defense on Viperize again up into the first corner. Same way, Viperize maybe going to try the same move again. Three four wide. wide. Three wide now. It's going to be Viperize keeping the lead this time. It's Sniper Eye going for the move on Rick. B2B Mango battling with Kendricks for P4 and P5. Kendricks getting she... spun around. Yeah, and there's a there Aston big Martin spin. As well. Aston Martin out of the race. That's Elian Bayan. And that's going to be a VSC. Yeah, this is Elian... front left higher gone. Yeah, Elian Bayan out of the race due to a... Spin on the first lap. He has not officially retired though. The game hasn't retired him yet But also I don't know if you know this, but Kendrick's already done to P13 So maybe alien yeah, he swing around the outside He got spun and uh, got turned into the accident and alien just got caught up in the accident Not much he could do but it's gonna be a VSC lap one again Earlier really this time, Viperize yeah, really gets the lead this time, followed by Rick, Red Sniper Eye, B2B Mango, and Agile is the last car up here in the top five. Vacant Haddock, the other Ferrari, P6, P7 is the return of Natty McNasty. Jimbo Triple One is eighth, ninth is Ozan, and tenth is Thomas D. Those are your points. We should be going green here soon. But Ozan looks like he really did get to jump on everyone, going from last all the way up to ninth place. All yeah, into this the points. Run, in this run, he's our biggest mover. He's taken over where Luke was on the glitched run. Poor for Luke because he had so good. But we're under green again. Elian Bayan still on the track for me. Yeah, same here as well as Elin saying that he got hit from behind, but I wonder from who. Yeah, that's interesting because he's on the track. He is ghosted, but that I wonder if that's going to cause any issues. I mean, hopefully it doesn't, but, but yeah. let's see. Kendrick gets packed back past Bono up into the first corner. He's now P11. Thomas D gets past Ozan. Kendrick's looking for Ozan now. So Kendrick's already just trying to get back into the rhythm and groove, maybe. Fastest first sector for Viperize. Kendrick's oh, looking on Ozan still. Ozan right on the back of Thomas and Jimbo. Viperize trying to get that gap. It's, it's gone from nearly eight tenths to nearly nine tenths there for a moment, going past turn 11. Yeah, and they're beginning to also pull away from Red Sniper Eye, who has Mango and Ajil right behind them. But look at Jeez. this battle. It's about... It's from P8 to P14. It's just a train. 
Thomas D maybe going for the dive on Jimbo. He thinks better of it. For a really tight battle, it looks like to be developing here. As Thomas D Thomas like D gets into the back of his G or uh, Jimbo, sorry, a little bit, but he's gonna go for the same dive I went for yesterday, and it is gonna work out for him. It seems. But, but they're going wheel to wheel. They're going and wheel to wheel around the double right hander, but it's going to be Thomas. Here comes Ozan around the inside. He's going to get it. Kendricks now. Kendricks. Jimbo's going to lose possibly three positions. No, nope, Kendricks backs out of it. Kendricks nearly followed Thomas D and Ozan through there. Perfect move from uh, Thomas D and Ozan. Perfectly planned there. So, now we've got Thomas D leading this small pack. Bono, Luke, and Ellie... Or, sorry, Bono and Luke falling back. It's a bit confusing to me that Ellie's car still has not been moved off the track. Really weird. I've never seen this or experiences from my personal playing time, so... I haven't either, but look at this Viperize helicopter cam. We can really see how this gap is between, and just as I switch to it, it's gone. Yay. Gotta love EA. Yep. But Jimbo now trying to defend against Kendricks. He's lost about a second to Ozan. Bono on the back of Kendricks as well. Jimbo Mango could fall looking. out of the points. Uh, yeah, BTB Mango looking for a move around Red Sniper Eye for P3. He's trying to get his first podium in G2 on his rookie debut. He's going to go for a move, but a switchback from Red Sniper Eye. They're going to be side by side here, going up into the tight corner, leading into the double right hander. Another switchback as he, switch back as he gets Eye. loose, but it's going to be, still be side by side. Red Sniper Eye clears him. He's going to keep the position. Absolutely lovely switch back from Red Sniper to get that position back from Mango. Beautiful battle between those two. For but the Red final Sniper, I just went wide. He may have just gotten a uh, a um, warning. Uh, let me check that. No, it looks like he didn't. As B2B Mango going around. The inside Red Sniper Eye, they come together a bit. Red Sniper Eye, no damage seen, but BTB Mango, aka Noel, is going to get past and up into P3. Agile, Vacant, and Piero Natty McNasty are the next three cars behind looking to get past. They are on the hunt. But remember, this race will become dry, so if they're slow in the wet, they could be running a dry setup. Something to keep in mind with Mango that I just looked into. Mango already has two warnings per track limit, so if he exceeds them one more time... Luke to Red, three-second penalty. So if Mango exceeds track limits one more time... And Red Sniper Eye versus oh. Agil. Those are going wheel-to-wheel -wheel there for a second, but... And here comes Vacant Haddock as well. They might be going three ERS. wide. No, Red Sniper is going to think better of it, and Viper Eye is looking to oh, close he... down on the switchback. Doesn't quite work for Red Sniper Eye. Sniper Eye looking for a dive. It's not going to work out for him. Really tight battle between uh, Edgy, Vacant, and Red Sniper here. Don't for forget about Piero, Natty McNasty, or Thomas D, who's now caught up. So those three definitely lost time. Which allowed the two Alfa Romeos. Maybe we'll see some team orders between those two, but... You never know. And we're seeing BTV Mango trying to pull away, but Agile sticking with. Vacant. Ha Red Sniper Eye has fallen down from P3 to P5 in about two laps. Or yeah, P6, but, sorry. But while all that battling, Mango's lost a lot of time. 4.2 seconds from Mango to Stratting. So a lot of time has been lost while all that battle was going on. So Meanwhile, maybe. Viper is still holding the lead to the S's. A nice helicopter cam again. Gotta love that helicopter cam. It looks really sick. Personally, my favorite. It does. Looking at them come through, you can see how Rick's just following right behind Viper Eyes. Same line. Rick cuts the corner there a little bit, so that might have been a warning. 
So let's see. And into Maybe. the hairpin. He is still leading. B2B Mango now getting closed up on by Agile. Vacant trying to close up after his poor start on the glitch run. Uh, Kendricks Kendrick. gets put trying to get by Jimbo, but Jimbo defends perfectly, keeping Kendricks behind. This is going to leave him vulnerable to Bono, though, who's got overspeed on him. Is Bono going to go for a dive in these wet conditions? He's looking for it. About a tenth back? No. Pierre Natty McNasty going for a move on right sniper eye now. Something to note for Kendricks, he's low on ERS, already in the single digit percentage. So, really had to burn a lot of ERS to even defend from Bono. So, Bono might be able to get him in this lap or the next one on that back straight going towards turn 12. Yeah, and so far this race, uh, we have had our biggest mover be Ozan, but Vacant's not too far behind. Uh, five positions up for Ozan, four for Vacant, three for Thomas D, two for B2B Mango and Agile, and then one for Pirol, Natty McNasty, and Viperize. Kendricks being the biggest loser in the wets right now, down eight places. 5% yeah, really. versus 3% ERS. Let's see how this will run out. Now approaching what? the S's, it's really crucial that these two really don't fight it. Because if these two do decide to fight it, they're going to lose a lot of time through there. And Watching on board with Kendricks, but Jimbo making a slight mistake. Kendrick's looking really for the overtake. He is hunting like a madman. He Keeping wants to get past. But probably his best opportunity will be on that run out of turn 11 going towards turn 12. If he can, if he does even have enough ERS as he starts to use it now. And look at Bono's ERS. He's keeping about 90% in his tank. Natty Wait, gets, so oh. Oh, Natty okay, gets past uh red sniper eye red sniper eye gives natty a little nudge now thomas d looking for the move on the mclaren trying to follow his teammate through another three second for luke two red that that battle between vipers and stratting did close up there in sector two it Just did it seems like there. viper eyes may have made a mistake yeah it closed down that gap from for roughly about, eight, nine tenths down yeah, to the Yeah, about a four tenth gain, three, uh, five tenths nearly. But Viper is pulling off a little in the final corner. Our shatting looking. ERS. Yeah, our shatting just trying to follow oh, behind. About a 50% difference in ERS, 40 to 50%. Oh, I'm over ERS. So Red maybe. Sniper Eye looking for the move on Natty and or Thomas D. Sorry, going around. Uh, Red Sniper Eye. A little bit of a slide there before the S's, but manages to keep the car going. Yep, Thomas D. Moves up to P7, following his teammate through. Vacant Agile B2B Mango are the next cars ahead of the Double Alpha Romeo duo. Let's see what they'll be able to do as we go through Sunset Corner. Ozan really close to Red Sniper here. Maybe looking up for the move, but not enough. Not yet. And look at the difference in ERS. It's about 40%. Looks like he will dump it. Not, not really. Both Ozan of them are dumping. dumping it. No, Red Sniper is not using any. Sitting at a stable 70%. But he used about 10%. Ozan, Ozan going for the dive. Is it going to be enough? He's going to block the switchback. Red Sniper is still looking for it. Going for another switchback. These are going wheel to wheel and very about to go through sector Ooh, 3 now. Ooh, and a now, but... little nudge from Red Sniper Eye, but it's going to be Ozan who seems to prevail. Red Sniper Eye falling off. Really good battle between these two. And uh, we got Rick closing up to Viper Eyes. Oh, Rick's, Rick's right on the back of Viper Eyes now. Three tenths down the front straight. It might be enough for Rick to start catching up. These two have really pulled away from the pack, but actually, no. Mango has gained about a second 
from the gap yeah, which was earlier uh, a three second gap yeah it, it, that gap has been closing down ever since uh, everyone's really uh, gone into the rhythm and settled into their own pace it also does seem like the tr there is more of a dry line starting to show the rain's letting up yeah, Red, Red Sniper, Sniper three, seconds. three seconds for the McLaren. That's not good. Jimbo right behind him. Kendricks fell back a bit from Jimbo. A lot of people with a lot of people with warnings already. And two with penalties. Both of the McLarens actually with penalties. One with three seconds, the other with six. Both Ferraris already have a warning. The majority of the uh, cutting has been from the McLarens. So Maybe they need to use a bit of cutting to try and get around the field. I mean, they have been struggling, especially Luke to Red. 11 seconds back from what is pretty much the entire grid. Yeah, ever since the restart, he hasn't gained any position or lost any. He just stayed but he's neutral also this not entire been, time. He's also not been burning ERS. So I wonder if he's trying to wait. Most likely just trying to wait for that, uh, for everyone to piss so that maybe he can go for the overcut whenever that transition from rain to dry comes about. Yeah, as I'm waiting for Viper Eyes to make his way to the S's, a one second gap for Noel, aka B2B Mango, he's closed up. Kendrick enters the pit. So does Bono. But oh, let's. I, I don't know. If they're pitting for slicks, it's not. No. Weirdly enough, going for enters again. As we just see these cars snake through the S's. Natty I'm... closing up on vacant here. Yeah, two tents. Let's see, maybe Natty can get a move on here on that back straight. As I, Natty has roughly 30% more compared to Vacant's 68% ERS. So maybe. Yeah. Another thing that I want to look at is I wonder if um, Kendrick's oh, and Bono... Rick. Rick looking for a move on Viper Eyes. Both Rick really looking... Up. But Viper Eyes is going to come across, shut that door. Rick's still looking. He gets into the back of Viper Eyes a bit. But those are really losing a lot of time. 1.2 seconds. Mango now it's from within Rick. a second. <laughs> now, if those three get into the fight, maybe Edgy and this Red Bull might be able to get into this battle. And if that happens, then Vacant and PRL M Natty McNasty are going to close up, and that's going to bring Thomas D along. So it's really looking for a promising race already, especially with this close gap between Rick and Viper. Speaking of Rick, coming Rick into comes the pit lane. in. Let's see what he's gonna pull onto his car. Let's watch along with him here. Seems to be another set of yeah. Inters, it's another set of enters. I wonder if they're trying for. I wonder if the drivers here are trying for a two stop on the enters. I wonder if that's going to be the preferred strat. Maybe because the scene, the rain seems to be letting up, but, but not enough. Yeah, but the that dry line is starting to come in little by little. Yeah, B two B Mango, Mango three, three second. second. That's unlucky. He that does not um, need that right now as he's trying to battle for the lead. Only about. Eight or so tenths back from Viperize. Make that now 4.9 seconds with this three second. Caution, sector one. That's Luke to red, it seems. Uh, he's still going. Much. Yeah, he's still going. Most likely a spin. Or maybe just letting another driver pass. Uh, most likely, yeah. Luke to Luke red, to red three seconds. nine seconds now. Mangles close up a lot on Viper Eyes, especially in this sector too. Yeah, and it's not too much of an uh, ERS difference, only about 20%. Mango Look at inside. this dive! It's going to be a great dive, but Viper Eyes switchback! Switch 
Side by side into the double right hander. Let's see how this happens. It's going to be Mango coming out on top here. He's going to keep the lead ten on the 10th lap. But let's see because we're about to come to 18 laps to go left in the race. What a lovely battle and move from Mango to take the lead. Otherwise, he does get a little bit of a wiggle there. And look Viper at this. Is to... Viper is trying to use the slipstream. Agil only about a second back. Ozan in the pits now. It looks like they're just trying to stick out and try and get the fresh enters on and not trying to lose it too much time. Let's see. Will Kendricks be able to get Ozan as he's coming out of the pits? If so, this could be a great help to Kendricks. And he's going to get him. So will Bono. So they could be gaining time on the drivers on slower sets of inters ahead. But look at this. Everyone within a second of the car ahead in the top six. Really close battle from everyone. But also Jimbo may... and Rick also both looking for a move on Red Sniper Eye right now. Red Sniper has been a common theme today with him struggling in the wet. Hopefully, maybe we'll see him come back in. And look at that switchback. No, he knocks into Jimbo and he also hits Rick, but they all seem to still be going. That was a close call for the three drivers as Rick gets a double overtake because of that. Jimbo looking for the move. Will he send it? No, he won't. And Stratton comes across and blocks the overtake. Shredding just trying to hold on for what he can right now. Vacant Haddock getting passed by PRL Natty McNasty seems to be in that corner. We've seen a lot of dives there. Yeah, very common overtaking spot in today's race at the moment. Probably one of the more dangerous corners to make an overtake besides the S's. But very much a risk and you'll get and a reward. And look at that gap that Mango has pulled now. 1.9 seconds already. Really Viper is definitely falling off. Agil looking for a move. He's gonna not. He's not gonna get it right now. But he's still looking. Maddie McNasty, vacant, and Thomas D now closing up to this battle for second, as the leader is running away. Yeah, but you also have to keep in mind he does have that three-second penalty. Yeah, but if he so, can get a three-second gap, then he's all good. I mean, look at this battle. It's nearly a five-way battle, I believe. Yeah, a five-way battle for P2. And they're about to approach turn 11 here. All close together, all within a tenth. Not a tenth. Half a whole second of each other. Kendrick's three Kendrick's seconds. Kendrick's three seconds yeah. trying to get past Red. No. He's just alone by himself right now. Three second unlucky for the Canadian Silver Arrow. Agil past Viper Eyes. Viper Eyes fighting back. Those Let's... are going wheel to wheel in turn 13. Edgy with the inside Slight line. Slight wheel tap on Viper Eyes, but it's Here still... Here comes Natty. Will Viper Eyes try for a dive? Yes, he will. Viper Eyes looking for the dive. He's going to push Agil a little wide, but Agil keeps P2. But that really backs up that pack. But yeah, that's really brought Natty and Vacant back into this fight for... And you can't forget P2. about Thomas D either. He's the only uh, PC driver inside the top 10. The top 5 are all PS5 or PS PlayStation drivers. It looks like uh, Natty lining up a move. Rick fastest slap. Oh, wow. Look at that dive Natty, from what a Viper Eyes. Viper Eyes trying. Overtake. Ozan now fastest Natty. lap. And it's going to be Viper Eyes falling off hard now. The rookie of B2B Mango takes the lead. Followed by Agile, and now Natty McNasty on his return back to LSR sits on that third bronze podium position. Really nice move from Natty into turn one. Very, very good move. You know what this track's missing? What is it? The Texas flag on the sun 
on the sunset corner. You know, the, cor the corner yeah, from... I, uh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Bono no, three seconds. It, yeah, because the, the U.S. flag is at the top of turn one, and then the Texas flag is at the end of sector one. Yeah. But let's see here. Mango pulled about a three-second gap to Agile. Nearly three seconds, so maybe he might be safe from that three-second penalty. He got four track limits. Could the yeah now three seconds? Could the rookie get his first win on his debut? Vacant got past Viperize. Most likely Team Orders as Viperize has fallen off hard. Yeah, those tires are really starting to drop off for him compared to Vacant, who's still keeping relatively consistent pace. See if I could pull up his lap times on my screen. Relatively consistent laps, low 50s to high 49s and mid 48s. So relatively consistent lap times from vacant. Thomas D looks like he nearly tried to dive, ownership. but he switched well, back Viper from Viper's. And look who's back! It's the Dutchman hunting. We've got a nice comeback after the pit from Rick you can tell how much those other inches have fallen off Luke to red spun out again burning those tires up I think it's about time he parks the car yeah it might be better cuz at this rate he's, yeah, he's lost it again yeah and he's almost a lap down by now. The yeah, leaders, the leaders are about to through. enter the same sector as him. So let's see, will he park the car or is he going to keep trying? No, it, it looks, looks like, like he's coming D into the park. The outside of turn 12, but goes too Still deep. Still not working. Here comes Rick. Around the outside. Let's see if that works. Currently wheel to wheel and makes it stick. And Luke, Luke to Red, red does, does retire. retire. The two Dutchmen still fighting, but Rick managing to get past in that Mercedes. Or as I like to call him sometimes, our controller, John Raw Altmere. <laughs> as Rick <coughs> nearly lining up a move for Viaprise. Viaprise going defensive. Rick around the outside. He's Luke trying a, wheel a little bit of wheel banging. Let's see, down the front street, burning your ass, both of them. Wheel two into turn one, let's see who ends up getting to position. Viper is gonna get cut a little close to the inside, but it's gonna be him holding out as he can get the elbows out on that inside and keep the lead Jimbo into the pits now. Yeah, we're starting to see drivers come into the pit lane for fresh sets of of inter tire as Thomas D sends it up the inside of uh, Stranding, but not making the move stick. Not enough space for him to keep the car going. Yeah, and look at him. He is trying to get past these two. He wants to get up with his teammate, and he's trying to just score as many points as he can for yeah, Alfa Romeo. It is looking very good for the two Italian manufacturers here here in group two as Stranding looking for the move look at this is pushing Rick all the way to this left side of the track breaking and Rick a little bit of collision inside here line. comes Thomas D making it three wide three, this is not gonna end well Rick right in the middle but Viper with the most inside line and it's and gonna Rick. be Rick keeping the position but Viper is not trying for the move Absolutely lovely battle between those three. If those three can work together and catch up to the rest of the field, we're going to have a really good fight to the end. Yeah, but I doubt that's going to happen because maybe with the uh, Alfa Romeos, but the... Oh, Thomas D, oh, three Thomas seconds! D. And a big oh. twitch as well. It's not looking good for Thomas D. I'll be right back, sir. Alright, I'll take over for now. As is going through turn one, we have Viper and Thomas D. Yeah, you have Rick 
Uh, Viper and Thomas D all fighting for a top five position here. Thomas D having the most ERS though. Both Mercedes, the Mercedes and uh, Ferrari of Stratting and Vibrise respectively both have around 20% ERS. So th those two running relatively low on ERS most likely might flash on that back straight. But Thomas might be able to get the move done here for here on that back straight going towards turn 12. But currently still about to enter turn 11. Yeah, and now we see Thomas D on the back. Three second penalty still, but he's on the back of Viper Eyes. It looks like Mango's made a mistake. That yeah, he's lost a Mango. lot of time. Yeah, Mango to Edgy's cut, essentially just being cut down in half. Yeah. But, but still look over at Natty. A also, Thomas D move on Viper Eyes, it seems. Natty's still side trying. by side. See, maybe uh, Thomas D can get Thomas the Thomas D going for the, another dive in this corner. I wish I could get a good camera for this. As Thomas D does get it, but here comes but Viper side by back. side, Viper is still fighting back against the Dutchman. Very common theme to overtake there in today's race so far. BTV Mango to... into the pits. Our leader Mine. has entered. So maybe trying to get the undercard on everyone and try and use those fresh enters to catch back up unless he's onto the drives. No. No, he takes those enters. Maybe trying to do what Rick has been doing. Most likely, yeah. But Kendricks is out. not going to get him, though. Look at this. He comes right out ahead of Kendricks in between okay. Ozan and Kendricks. He's going to have to work his way through traffic now. Yeah, Mango's gonna have to clear all this traffic ahead of him, which consists of Thomas D, Viper, Viper Eyes, and Ozan. Ozan, and he's gonna have to catch Rick as well if he wants to have a chance to win this. Yeah, because at, at the moment, unless Natty, Agile, or Vacant stay out, it's gonna be Rick winning, but Rick's still catching them really quickly. Natty has actually taken the lead. We, I missed that. Yes, yeah, because yeah, uh, Mango came into the pit lane. Uh, but I missed the overtake on Agile versus Natty, but look at Agile. He looked for a move there for a second. He got into the side pa pod of the Alfa Romeo there. And, and a, a little bit of a twitch. All it's going to be vacant attraction. now, just hoping to find a way around, trying to get away from the Nightmare Dutchman who's hunting them down. Edgy just trying to push that Red Bull to the limit. As you saw from Mango that got past right on... uh, Mango got past Ozan, sorry. So Mango already starting to clear traffic. But, but going back... I wonder what will happen when he gets to the battle of Thomas D versus Viper Eyes. I mean, the, you have, uh, Thomas D and Viper Eyes still are going to pit. It looks like Vacant has gone past Edgy. Those two going wheel to wheel into turn one. Yeah, and it's going to be Vacant taking the lead here so far of that battle. But Natty still holding on to the lead of the race. About a so, 1.3 second gap. Rick has really closed up to the top three, though. Yeah, on those new uh, set of enters that he did come in for earlier on in, that, in the stints. Now we have an, an Italian 1-2 currently with both Italian manufacturers up there. But let's see if maybe Vacant can get up ahead of Natty here before the He's end of the race. He's definitely hunting. Laps. Yeah, but Natty does have a lot more ERS. Yeah, Thomas D just trying to keep ahead of Viper Eyes now as well. Viper is trying to pull along with... Thomas D, but Mango has really caught these guys. Maybe can he use these guys as a slingshot to get up to Rick here, maybe? Possibly. As Edgy and Vacant close up. Yeah. 
as Gilles may be looking for a move on Viper Eyes. Mango dive bomb on Viper Eyes. Uh, he pushes Viper Eyes off, giving Viper Eyes a penalty. That most likely might be removed. At Unless Viper Eyes gets another warning. Yeah, we definitely have to keep an eye on for that. As Mango closes up to Thomas D. Yeah, and. and a small amount of contact. Yeah. Thomas Mango Viper is uh, in the pit. Yeah, Mango said you Mango just getting the Thomas fastest D. slap. And look at that. That twitch scared Thomas D. Nearly managing to avoid that contact. Maybe lost a little bit of traction on the straight. Or it might have just been a scared tactic. You never know. You never Definitely know. Definitely give you something the stewards are going to look at, maybe. But look at Rick. He's now closed up to Gilles. As Gilles closed up to vacant. This could be two positions for him and just leaving him to hunt down one more car. Three cars in the pit lane now. And they're on the they're on the soft compound. Kendrick's soft compound. Yes, it, all four ninth through twelfth, all on the soft compound now. Yeah, that dry line is starting to come in, but I don't personally I don't think it's gonna I be think, enough. Yeah, no, I think he needed to wait another lap. That drawing is starting to come up, but it's not enough. Bono still tr suffering on those tires. Using the curbs as normal, but it seems to be those curbs are still wet. They could have wanted to take a risk, but the risk had no reward right now. Not even Knasty still leading about a two second, two and a half second gap to Vacant. Rick got past the Gilles. Vacant and Natty are up seven positions, but look at Rick. He is hunting after this Ferrari that is ahead of him. Absolutely flying, hunting down these drivers ever since that pit stop with these final eight laps remaining. Let's see if maybe Shrani... Mango, another fastest lap for him, beating his but... personal best so far. Let's see if Shrannon can hunt these two uh, drivers down for th the potential win here. Shrannon this... right on the back of Vacant through the S's. He looked to the outside, lost a bit of time. Gilles now going to catch right back up. But we ha I don't know why those drivers went onto the soft compound tire. We didn't even get DRS enabled yet. They went on way too early and tried to take too much of a risk. Uh, looking at their lap times, they're not improving currently at the moment. Or they haven't even... Red Sniper <coughs> in three seconds. <coughs> Red Sniper right now at six seconds of time penalties. Not looking good for Red Sniper. I believe that's him out of the points, I believe. I could be wrong. I don't think so. As Rick has closed up to vacant again. Yeah. I'm watching on board with this. DRS now enabled. It is now time for that soft and dry compound tire. So maybe everyone who did come in for the soft compound of tires may have just benefited here. I doubt it, really. Maybe. May got for the other because Natty's coming in. Here they come. It's Make gonna it. be the big pit stop of the race. Let's watch Viper Eyes. He's the leader of the soft compound. Fastest Mango's, sector two. Mango's kept going. Thomas D. Ozan has kept going. Actually, I lied. They came into pit. But Mango's taking the lead, trying to go for that overcut. I don't know how well it will work. Because look at the track now. It is really starting to dry up. Yeah, it is starting to dry a lot. Plus, there's no spray, so he's really just going to have to hold. There is still spray in some parts of the track, but not much. Viper has lost a lot of time. He might not even get back past Ozan. Let's see. It's going to be Ozan Thomas D coming out right ahead of Viper Eyes. So they are still together. Viper Eyes looking for that dive on Ozan. Switch back on Thomas D. Or yeah, sorry, Thomas D, they go side by side into the S's. They're right on top of each other now. Now the train has completely dried. Mango 
still yet to pit, and from what it's looking like... It's not going to be good. A touch from Viperize on Thomas D. Bono, three seconds. Viperize still behind Thomas D, but he nearly spins him out. Very tight fight as Thomas oh, D. Oh, and a retaliation move. He has done yeah. that before. We have history of Thomas D being a very retaliatory driver. Very retaliatory so and aggressive driver. So DR that will be something enabled. for the stewards to look at. As Thomas D is dropping as much ERs as possible trying to get past him as Viperize does break later going wheel to wheel through turn 13 but Thomas D with that inside line still going wheel to wheel and Thomas D just pushing, pushed him off track leaving no room he's gonna block the dive Rick with three, three seconds. seconds so this may have just handed Natty the win unless Natty or Vanket the win Unless he uh, doesn't get another Mango changing his front wing as well on his pit stop. So th he could have had wing damage. Viperize so most likely not happened with Tom happy with Thomas D looking to get past. He's going to go for a dive. But look at B2B Mango. And there's a collision between Thomas D and B2B Mango Three in turn the first in corner. Three wide there for a second, but... Viper is not letting up. And another collision. B2B Mango leaves him no room. Viper is aggressive. most likely not happy right now. Very aggressive. But he's finding six times a little bit of contact between oh, Thomas D. And Mango. Big amount of contact. Here comes Kendricks around the outside Viper of both damage. Of them. Viper is has end plate damage. Has Mango and Thomas D have had a pretty like a pretty bad battle yeah a pretty bad battle from them as Rick purple sector too yeah Viper is looking to just get back past trying to catch up back to Thomas D he's probably gonna stay out with this damage unless there's a safety car yeah I don't believe there will be one though mango so. also has end plate damage two drivers with end plate damage Kendrick's front wing's good. Thomas D's front wing's good. Just those two. And Natty McNasty, Vacant, Rick, all three setting fastest laps one after another. But it's going to be Rick keeping the fastest lap, it seems. Yeah, sorry, Speed. I, I have to go. Something just came up. No worries. All right. Hey, I'll see you. see you guys later. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in, though. Well, that is the co-commentator, Viper Ice, signing off. Someone has freed him from his commentary cage. Another three second for Rick Stratting. That is going to be the end of his race as we know it. Wow. Looking so good for the Nightmare Dutchman, but just nothing in the end. Two, three seconds just ends poorly for the man. A lot of drivers with just three seconds, but also three drivers with six. Viper is losing time to Kendricks due to his damage caused by uh, B2B Mango and Thomas D. The fastest lap was set by Red Sniper I 135.6 as he closes up to the back of Bono. Kendrick's move on Thomas D. Thomas D isn't very happy right now with this race. It's a very dry situation right now. We've got about five laps remaining in this race. Natty McNasty holding a lead, but Vacant Haddock's right behind. Vacant's the only one really within a shot to beat Natty for this race. And after his poor start on the glitched lobby, this is a really big comeback story for the man. Rick most likely just trying to get into that podium area, trying to pull away from Agile using the two leaders, but they might start battling soon and that could cause him issues. Kendrick still looking for a move on Thomas D.
Viper Eyes, Red Sniper Eye looking for a move on the Irishman. And a dive from the Irishman. Now Bono looking. These three come over the hill battling, but look at this. Vacant Haddock now has closed up to Natty McNasty. He might try and move on the front straight, but you want to get the move done on the back straight if you're going to get the move done on the final lap. Kendricks dive on uh, Thomas D. Thomas D switch back. Kendricks all out of ERS. Thomas D about halfway done through his ERS tank. Kendricks twitching a bit right now. Yeah, and it's just really vacant versus Natty McNasty up at the front. B2B Mango gets past Jimbo after pitting. Bono looking for a move on the Irishman. Nothing yet. Maybe going to try it in the final corner. Nope, he's going to wait till the front straight. Viperize has fallen back too far from... Red Sniper Eye to get DRS. Remember, you have to be within one second to get DRS. A dive up the inside from Bono. And a bit of contact. But it might be Bono sticking his nose out ahead to keep the position. It will be. B2B Mango re-steals the fastest lap. No one's going to get that point unless he can get inside the top ten. Vacant Haddock looking all over the track, trying to get that move done on the Alfa Romeo. Two Italian cars leading the way around this great American track. The best one to have in the USA is Coda. And we are looking at the battle for the lead as we are coming to about four to go. Or three to go this lap, it should be. Thomas D move back on Kendricks. These two are battling. Thomas D blocking Kendricks. Little bit of a nudge, but it's gonna be uh, Thomas D staying ahead. Vacant Haddock though. Here he comes. The uh, American driver in the Ferrari. He's gonna make a move for the lead. Now he's gotta try and run away with this thing, but Natty McNasty's right there. Thomas D versus Kendricks is the next battle to look at. As these two have been starting to get really fierce with their battling. Kendrick's DRS on the front straight. But Thomas just has a lower downforce setup. And a lot less, or a lot more ERS, sorry. Kendrick's looked for the move, but wasn't given any room, so he didn't go for it. Natty McNasty now burning ERS, trying to get back past Vacant. Let's see, is he going to get the move here? He is. It's going to be a move to the outside. Vacant is going to re-dive it up the inside, but it's going to be nothing. Slight bit of contact, it seems, but they both keep it together. Neither spin. Agil now looking to get onto the podium, but at the moment, he's still on the podium. Ozan... Biggest improver of the day, by far. He's up from P14. And he's made his way up to P5. He's within the top five now. Kendrick's Thomas D battling. These two are going at it still. And that's helped Red Sniper Eye close up on these final laps. As we watch Natty McNasty, two to go here in Coda. Vacant looking for a move on the outside. A little spooked by Natty McNasty. Natty goes wide. Vacant looking for the switchback. A beautiful switchback. Viperized three-second time penalty. But it's going to be an amazing switchback for the American driver. He's going to get the lead now. Agile just trying to stay within six seconds of Rick to get onto the podium. Vacant really trying to stay ahead of Natty McNasty, but like I said, you want to get that move done on the final straight of the final lap. Kendrick's back past Thomas D, it seems. These two battling. Caution, Sector 3, B2B Mango's retired from the session with the fastest lap. But look at this battle now. 
Three cars in it. They're locked in tight. Also, Natty McNasty seems to have gone around. I missed this. Vacant Haddock takes the lead. I wonder if there was contact. We've been watching this Thomas D. Kendricks Red Sniper Eye battle for six, and I missed the spin for the lead. This could help Agile get up into the top two. As Thomas D. goes back around Kendricks, Red Sniper Eye just trying to stick behind, waiting. As he may have had fastest sector two, I thought I saw purple there for a second, but I'm not 100% sure. We got a blue, red, blue line going straight into turn one. As Gio really looking to get past Natty McNasty, but Natty looking to get past Rick to put a buffer in between himself and the uh, Red Bull. Thomas D now about a second up on Kendricks. Could Kendricks have damage? Let us see. No, no damage for Kendricks, but look at Red Sniper Eye. He's looking for a move. Nothing yet. But let's watch this Ferrari. Poor start in the first start of the race, but luckily for him, a glitch helped him prevail. He is in the lead now. Three second gap to a driver with six seconds of penalties. As long as he gets no penalties here, he is all good. And we will have Vacant Haddock winning, but we've got to wait. We've got one sector remaining. Let's see how this goes here. Also, Kendricks, Thomas D. Kendricks within uh, DRS of Thomas D. Let's just see. Will Kendricks be able to get past? I want to keep an eye on this battle, but I also want to look at the leader as he finishes. Kendricks isn't going to get past. And here comes Vacant Haddock. He had a poor start on the first start. We got a restart going. He got his a second go. And he wins here. He wins Coda. He wins round one for group two. It's going to be Natty McNasty following behind. Followed by Agile. And then Rick Stratting. Ozan's going to come across. He's going to finish. And Elliot Bayan finally retires. Thomas D may be pushing Kendricks off there. Thomas D will definitely have a couple penalties coming in after this race, after a bit of questionable driving to say. But it's going to be Ozan P5, Thomas D P6, Kendricks 7th, Red Sniper I 8th, Bono 9th, and the unlucky Irishman who got screwed over port like really badly. Finishing P10 and our one and only outside the points driver Jimbo triple one will finish last That's gonna be the end of the G2 Coda GP We are starting G1 in about 30 minutes. So tune in then and What a race it was today Ozan driver of the day that is very well deserved the we have a lot of in-game chat or paddock chat as I like to call it post race but due to concerns of what's being said there I do not want to switch over it's going to be vacant haddock pulling up the win here today and he will be your race winner for G2